finally, we end with the story of a guitar that helped define an era of British music. Oh, yeah. Back in the late oh, 50s, me. when a young Sir Cliff Richard was just making his name, he was looking to America for inspiration. It came in the form of a Fender Stratocaster he imported for just a few pounds. It provided his band, The Shadows, with their distinctive sound and became one of the most valuable guitars in the world. 60 years on from changing the sound of British popular music, the famous red Stratocaster guitar is still producing what people want to hear. It's been doing so since 1959, when Cliff Richard imported it from America for his little-known backing group, The Shadows. We loved um, the Stratocaster because Buddy Holly played one. We bought it for Hank to play because he wanted his band uh, to sound like the Americans do. Within a year, in the hands of Hank Marvin, the Stratocaster was producing a sound unique to the shadows. Apache was their first hit, and there were many more to come. The record of Apache created the, the group boom. There were so many groups wanted to be like the Shads, wanted to be like Hank, to sound like Hank. They had to have the Echo Box, they had to have the Stratocaster. So there's been a boom in red guitars ever since. The original red guitar contributed hugely to a room full of gold and platinum records at Bruce Welsh's home. That's the million seller mm -hmm. Apache mm -hmm. gold, gold disc. Mm -hmm. yeah. By the time the Shadows made their farewell tours, the red Stratocaster was as famous as the group. Bruce Welsh says he's been looking after it now for 45 years. Now, Cliff paid 140 guineas yes, yeah. for this. What would it be worth today? A lot of money, a lot. But you never know until you, you know. I've got it insured for half a million pounds. Wow. From 145 guineas mm -hmm. to half a million I pounds. I haven't told Cliff that, by the way, what it may be worth. <laughs> He'll want it back now. But the famous Red's work isn't done yet. Bruce has used lockdown sifting through old recordings to put together a new compilation that heavily features the Stratocaster's sound. Still so powerful, it has this 79-year-old shadow rediscovering some signature footwork. Dancing under the desk. A fine note to end tonight's program on from everyone at News at 10 tonight. Good night.